This is a whole set HE351VE. Bam! A variable gas turbine housing. What I like about this turbo is it has V-band connections for the compressor and turbine housings on the center housing. So picture low RPMs starting off the line. This is going to be the arrangement for the turbine side that powers the turbo. The dimensions are restricted for the flow onto the turbine itself, it's going to be like a much smaller turbo. And then normally this is controlled by an electronic motor servo arrangement type of deal. I'm going to have a pneumatic controller. Basically as it builds pressure, it turns into a larger turbo. Best of all worlds. That's the hope anyway, can't wait to try it. So it's the variable version of this HX40, which normally comes internally waste gated. The HE351 is the non waste gated one. I welded that shut. So that was a bigger turbine housing than it needed to have. This is an HX55 was going to use this behemoth that actually weighs 40 pounds whereas the HE351VE weighs 43. This compressor though is massive. These, are, these go on uh, 12 liter diesel Volvo semi trucks and this at only 16 pounds is a ball bearing GT35R from Garrett. That would have been fun. Not very high horsepower, but boost right off the line all the time. This HX40 was awesome. Um, it did not seem very laggy. So this is going to be a uh, hopefully close to no lag version of the HX40. And we'll see how that goes once I can uh, actually get it going. Look at this car here. A little preview let's just say this is the opposite side of the turbo exhaust flange which I have not uh, built manifolds for yet however this side is coming right along I'm going to have uh, the ability to put multiple turbos right here for easy swapping in under an hour um, so both sides join up and collect into this one, which will then go into the turbo right there. Just have this uh, V-band without a clamp on there currently. It's a little sneak preview where this guy is looking. I guess without a flash, it's kind of hard to see. Um, so down right there is where it's going to uh, come in from behind the motor and join up. So yeah, be sitting in a turbo where the battery used to go. Excited to try this. I'm going to uh, put it in there probably without having made a controller first because a controller really isn't necessary. You can literally just leave that in one spot and run it like that small or large or in between. It can probably move on its own, but overcoming the static friction of all these moving parts to actually move that, not likely. And then down the road I'll get the feel for that, but it'll essentially be like uh, my previous setup left in the down position like that. But building a controller will be fun once the whole thing's running. All right. Also, I'm going to have to uh, chop off this uh, 90 degree change on the compressor side and leave it more like a normal turbo like all of those. 
Yep, that about covers it.